Uh, back in January we started off uh, this year's uh, dahlia um, plants uh, in three different ways which there are some uh, videos about each of those different ways and we're going to have a look today at how those have fared uh, throughout the season. It's getting towards the end of the dahlia season now. Uh, it's the last week in September here in the UK and uh, most times we get our first frost um, mid-October and that's when the vegetative part of the uh, dahlia will die off. Um, uh, they can't uh, tolerate uh, frost and when that happens that's the end of your dahlia season. There will be further videos about uh, what we do at that stage because uh, the dahlia tubers are, um, are still nice and viable and we will process those uh, one way or another. Uh, there are different options again and uh, we'll talk about how you may want to deal with your tubers to uh, take them through to next year. So the three different ways that we started our dahlias this year. Um, uh, one is uh, by um, uh, starting dahlia clumps and uh, that is if you like the standard method. You buy your uh, clumps of tubers in and um, you either put them straight in the ground or else you uh, pre-sprout them uh, which is what we did with all of our dahlias. Uh, we warmed them up uh, a bit, kept them under protection and um, allowed them to uh, sprout uh, earlier than uh, would be the case if they were in the ground. Uh, you need to protect them from frost at that stage so and then we get them into the ground uh, after the last frost date. Most of our dahlias here went into the ground uh, 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 the last two weeks in uh, May. So the three ways, dahlia tuber clumps is the first way. Uh, the second way is pot dahlia tuber cuttings which we uh, did a number of those, there's videos on that. And lastly there are single tubers, so these are tubers which we divided um, at the end of last season into single tubers. In most cases we stored those in cling film, there's a video about that. And then we brought them out of uh, storage and uh, started them up in the normal way in pots in uh, uh, compost under protection so that they could develop um, uh, shoots early on. And then we uh, uh, planted them out in the last two weeks of May. So how have they done? Well we'll look first at the uh, dahlia uh, tuber clumps which is um, usually the most productive because they have that much more energy uh, in the tuber clump uh, to get the plants started early on in the season. So these we're looking at the first ones are preference dahlias which were tuber clumps. I think there were uh, 28 or so of these when we started out and mostly they've done very well. There are just two fails down here which never got started for one reason or another remains unexplained. So these are preference dailies which are uh, tuber clumps and the next one along these are um, wine eyed Jill which were also uh, tuber clumps. We didn't have as many of those. And then we planted the rest of the dahlia uh, tuber clumps in the polytunnel. These are we've met before, these are the cafeolets which are fairly rampant. They were dahlia clumps, I think we had 12 of those originally and they've all done reasonably well except for one at the back there which is rather slow uh, but is just beginning to give us some flowers now. Next along here is 
is our ambition. Um, and next along Downham Royal, which is a lovely a small ball dahlia, which we've got lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of flowers from those. All done quite well. Some at the back there needing some more support. We've used the corral method here, which is simply to uh, put some twine along the bed and then allow the dahlias uh, to support themselves within that corral. So those are the dahlia clumps and uh, almost to a man they've done uh, pretty well. The second group we're going to look at are the pot dahlia tubers uh, which are specially prepared uh, tubers uh, which have been uh, grown throughout the season in a restricted space and this uh, tunes the tuber up um, so that the following year um, they produce uh, more cuttings than than would be otherwise the case and then they are prepared and uh, sold as uh, pot dahlia uh, tubers uh, and the idea is that you plant those up in the early season warm them up and uh, they produce cuttings which you then uh, use the cuttings um, uh, to take forward into your uh, into the dahlia season so these two we're looking at here uh, this is hillcrest jersey uh, which were dahlia cuttings pot dahlia cuttings and next along is kilmore which were also uh, pot dahlia cuttings uh, both of these have done particularly well, so we're cutting flowers from these daily throughout the season. And these are also pot dahlia cuttings. This is Josudi Hercules, which is a smaller plant. And also there's perhaps suffering a little bit because they are in uh, new ground. Uh, ground which was only uh, used for the first time this season and we use the uh, no dig method so these this area of land here was was meadow um, uh, last season and we prepped it in the no dig fashion And lastly here for the pot dahlia cuttings is Doris Day. So both of these, uh, Doris Day and um, Josudi Hercules, we are cutting from um, about every third day or so. So quite nice uh, small um, round blooms which we use in bouquets. And the last group uh, that we started uh, were uh, the single uh, dahlia tubers. Uh, so we grew these dahlias last year and instead of storing the tuber um, and replanting it next year, we divided it into single tubers. Uh, if you remember, each of those was stored in, uh, in cling film and they did remarkably well in that storage and these are the results of planting a single tuber quite early on in the season so that it gives time to um, uh, for the plant to develop these are already bliss which I think were started in uh, in February And these are uh, Brookfield Snowball, which were uh, single tubers and uh, were giving us blooms about every other day, I'd say. Alongside them some more Oretti Bliss. So all of these we're looking at now are single tubers. As you can see, although they are single tubers, they produce a very bushy plant 
if they are uh, stopped early and then trained so to speak. There's videos on how we do that here. There's two more here, clear view or, uh, sorry this is uh, Yes, it's clear view, Audrey. Well, they're stunted and the f we are getting flowers, but the, s the uh, stems aren't long enough to use in anything but small jam jars. And next door here is Sheila, which was a uh, single tuber. So that's the story of our dahlias and the uh, three ways that we brought them up in the early season. The conclusion is that all methods do well. The uh, dahlia clumps uh, did uh, best of all in the way of production, uh, but a very close second were the uh, pot dahlia tubers, uh, yeah, pot dahlia uh, tubers, which were cuttings, which we're looking at now. And uh, last but not least were the single dahlia uh, tubers which the um, Oretti Bliss here did really well. We started these earlier than the others so I think part of the issue is to um, make sure that your single tubers and cuttings have enough time to develop uh, before you actually uh, plant them out. These all need thinning out the there's too many shoots in there for the good of the plants, so I'll, uh, I'll thin those out. Uh, growth begins to slow down towards the end of the season, so that you need to protect the, um, um, uh, the good buds and uh, dispense with, with the rest there. So thanks very much for uh, watching again and uh, I will produce some more videos particularly when we get to the stage of taking these tubers uh, out of the ground and uh, what we do in the way of uh, prepping them and storing them ready for next season. So, uh, thanks for watching and bye for now.